getting on the ferry to Eos this morning. It's very early, it's like 6 a.m. Um, but this is a normal time for a ferry to leave. So today I'm gonna kind of show you what the ferries in Greece look like, what the inside looks like on our way to Eos. This is World Champion Jet Ferry, and it was a little bit smaller than I expected. I had never taken it before, and they were just rows and rows of seats with no tables or lounge areas. Uh, there were up in business class tables, and there were some in what I think they call platinum class in the back, but that was it. So it made sort of for a long ferry ride. Fortunately, even though we had bad weather, it was pretty smooth sailing. There are cafes on board. Um, they offer the basics, but it is kind of expensive. So if you're watching your money, get something before you get on the ferry. It's still raining on the way to the islands, uh, but we've checked the weather forecast and it's supposed to be nice once we get to Eos. But uh, yeah, it's, this is unusual for June. It's not usually rainy. And, windy like this. Uh, I will say that the sea jets are the fast ferries, so it's a little back and forth rocky. So if you get seasick easily, I suggest taking the slow ferry. Hotel. I stay in this hotel every time I come. It's called the Criticaucus Village Hotel. Part of the reason I stay here is because of this amazing view. So there's a beach over there and over there that's where the sun will set. I stayed here once for a month a couple of years ago and that was my room. Very nice. But this time I'm staying with my friend so we got a room that has two double beds in it on this lovely sofa, which could actually be another bed. And then two beds up here, nice little closet area. And there's a little kitchenette, which is very useful when you're staying in a place a little bit longer. And the bathroom. So the one thing I love about the Kritikakis Village Hotel is that I think I mentioned earlier that the sun is going to set over there and of course you don't even have to leave the hotel for it it's great and sometimes you can see the ferries come in and I don't know it's just a beautiful spot it's nice and quiet it's been a really lovely spot to be at every time I come here I love it today's been a little bit of a quiet day because we both had to work once we got here we're gonna go for a dinner this evening 
I would say we would stay and watch the sunset, but I think the clouds are gonna get in the way. beaches here in Eos, so I thought I'd come show you Yalos Beach. As you can see, it's a really nice sandy beach. The water's a little bit shallow for a ways, um, so it's good for kids or if maybe you just want to walk in the water and you don't necessarily want to swim. The waves only get big when the ferries come. They aren't big all the time. One of the other big beaches that we'll probably go to later in the week does. Um, so this is a nice option if you're staying in the port area and you don't want to go all the way to the other beaches. Um, and there's plenty of little beach bars and cafes. You can rent an umbrella and chairs. It's pretty cheap. And some of them will allow you to sit in them uh, for free. If you buy food and drink or something, they'll tell you what they want you to do. It's a great place to watch the ferries come in. I just saw one of the ferries make the turn, I think. <laughs> I think he was turning in and not leaving, but I haven't seen him come around the corner yet. So this is the main part uh, of Eos, so this is the port. And then if you turn around, that's where you see the little churches on the top of the hill. That's the main village. So there's a bus that takes you from the port all the way up there. So if your hotel is up there, uh, you can get up there easily. Sometimes the hotels will come and pick you up, so it's not ever an issue here. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the ferry coming in. So if you're sort of a boat geek like me and you like to watch the ferries and the sailboats come and you want to be on the beach, this is the spot. If you don't want to be on the beach, then you go sit in the port on one of the restaurants. the water is nice and clear. It's a little cool, but it's starting to get hot, so it feels really good. I'm just gonna watch the ferry come in now. begins. This is what I like to call getting off and on the ferry in Greece is a little bit chaotic. Not if you're leaving from Piraeus or from their very first uh, departure point, but when you get to the islands, they really sort of like make you get off as fast as possible and they're trying to get the cars off and then load everybody and all the other cars and the car go on. So it can be a little chaotic, although there are a lot less tourists right now, so it's still not so chaotic as it can be. Although, there seems to be a lot of people getting off on this ferry, compared to like how many people got off on my ferry yesterday. Oh, there goes the cars. Blue Star ferries also are bigger than the slow ferries, so they hold more people, they hold more cars. I like them better than the fast ferry. So as you can see, the sunset is not as spectacular as it normally would be here in Eos, but it's because we've had clouds this evening, but it looks pretty great either way. So I'm going to end the video here and I will see you guys in the next one.